What's up YouTube, Dubstep Slap 415 back again with another Sneakerhead Saturday. For those who follow me on Instagram, you guys know I got a new car a few days ago. Stay tuned for a short little video on the new car at the end of this vid. Getting straight into today's pickups. First up, we got two Area 72 accessories. You see your little ray gun snapback. Top Secret Nike Area 72 on the side. Your underbrim, black and kind of like crimson crackle speckle. You have your glow in the dark snap. Orange button on top. Nike swoosh on the side. Next up, we got the little drawstring bag. Got the ray gun character. Orange Nike swoosh. These are actually, uh, it's actually like a total crimson. You got your total crimson uh, strings on the side. Little zipper pocket. Still got the little Nike tag. They were selling these at uh, Nike Town SF. So shout out to them for getting <clears throat> the Area 72 collection early. Next up. Got a few things from the people at beyondhype.com. Just let you guys know, all orders at beyondhype.com have free shipping, no matter the price. So they sent out two bracelets and a keychain. First up, we got the rock, paper, scissor keychain by Booger Kids. All the links to these items will be in the description. Next up, we got the Onyx 2 Rastaclop bracelet, black and gold. Finally, my favorite of the three, the Rastaclot Pharaoh. Perfect match for your Golden Moment 7s or even your 6s. It's a little Rastaclot logo right there. I'm sure you guys saw when I got close showing the bracelets. I did get the alternate color of the Diamond Supply Company Diamond Rug. This one is all red with the diamond in white. Also, the little accessory. They came out with their diamond carabiners in uh, Tiffany blue or diamond blue. Definitely had to swoop one of those. Got a few tees today before we get into the pairs. Want to talk about this one a little bit. So right here we got the Cage Apparel Limited Edition White Camo Fuck the World tee. You see the Cage logo guy giving it to the world. You know on the back it says FTW Fuck the World. Got a pair of the white camo foams right here. Show you guys it is a perfect match. Got your subtle red details. Go along with the details on the chest. Cage apparel. There you go. If you want to know about a cage's message, go ahead and pause now. This shirt was limited to 50 pieces, so head over to acageapparel.storeenvy.com. The link will be across the screen as well as in the description. If you guys head over now, use the promo code DUB, all caps, D-U-B. You'll get free shipping, so head over there before they sell out. Got a couple tees to go along with the recent Area 72 release. You guys see the snake wrapped around the planet planet NSP KB24 on the sleeve got area 72 got area 72 on the sleeve of the shirt underneath just so I don't have to show you guys again Nike tags this is a dry fit cotton size extra large gotta give a thanks to my boy Bay Coast looking out for me Nike Space Program AS 2013. Really liking this design. Also got a shout out I Collect Kicks for swooping me up the Kobe's yesterday. I was sleeping. Houston, we have Contact. 
That's your little ray gun character right there. Nike Air. This is just a normal T, not a dry fit. Size extra large. Showed you guys the Area 72 on the sleeve. Real clean T. Next up, ordered off cafepress.com. You search Nightwing 2303. Had to uh, support my homie, fellow Bay Area sneakerhead, Nightwing 2303. Went ahead and picked this T up. Nice quality T printed on Hanes. Dope design to go with the Aqua 8s. He's got a few different designs on there. The link will be in the description. And finally, we got an undefeated T. See, undefeated, extra large. Got the undefeated logo in brown. This is to go with the Bring Back Pack. Got a little uh, undefeated decal right here. The kind you stick on and then pull the front off. You guys see the little undefeated bag. Got their saying on the inside, play dirty. First two pairs up today. Two pairs of Adidas. I got both from Finish Line. T-Mac 1, black, Court Royal, black. Got a black and blue colorway of the T-Mac 1s. We get into the second box as well. T-Mac, run white, forest, metallic gold. This is a double up for me. I picked up a second pair of the LeBron St. Vincent St. Mary T-Mac 1s. Got his high school number 23 stitched on the back heel. St. Vincent St. Mary's colors. The green, white, the gold accents. Adidas logo on the back. Rocked this shoe a lot when I was in like 6th and 7th grade. This colorway specifically, the black and blue. So this was a must once I saw it. Got Tracy McGrady's number stitched on the back. It's a black and blue outsole. <clears throat> Little hit of patent leather on the toe. Going over to the other side. It's a classic shoe in my opinion. And again, it's only my opinion. Not everyone is digging them. One of my most asked questions last week was did I pick up the 88 Retro 3s? Yes, I did. But I couldn't magically poof them into my hands. They had to be shit to me. These are both from Finish Line. Air Jordan 3 Retro 88, white, fire red, cement gray, and black. Same thing, white, fire red, cement, and black. You guys see the 200 retail. Went ahead and opened up both pairs. So here we go. You guys see right off the bat, that's your tumbled leather upper. Smooth leather going around it. Elephant print on the toe and the back. Standard Jordan 3s, but you got the Nike Air on the back heel instead of your Jordan Jumpman. You also do have the Nike Air on the insole. But what a lot of people were pretty upset about is it still says Jordan on the bottom of the shoe. The Jordan 3 is one of my favorite shoes of all time. The silhouette, the white cement colorway is classic. You guys know I brought that to Vegas for my birthday. The red Jumpman. You also have the hang tag, but the hang tag says Nike Air instead of Jordan, or instead of the Jumpman Air. I thought that was a nice touch to add. So pretty pleased with these. Pretty comparable to the 2011 white cements. Not too much of a difference, in my opinion. Jumping into the Area 72 shoes that released yesterday as well as today. Well, the only shoe that released today was the Barkley Posit along with the Jordan Stealth Collection. But let's go ahead and get into these. 
on the right, got an orange Nike box, top secret, Area 72, Nike, highly classified technology, <clears throat> Nike KD5 AS, liquid lime, obsidian, sport turquoise, and total crimson. Just like the other All-Star shoes, it does come with the Swoosh Sentinel newspaper box paper. <clears throat> so here we go with the KD5 Extraterrestrial. You see that liquid lime upper. It's a real nice color. Not too crazy, but not too subtle either. See that scaled Nike swoosh on the outside. Then got a metallic swoosh on the inside. Your tongue has a little bit of a galaxy theme fading up. Then got your KD logo. Kind of like little asteroids. Total Crimson laces along with your Total Crimson outsole. Got the fade on your midsole from Obsidian to Sport Turquoise. And then it features the Total Crimson Speckling. Your inner lining has that extraterrestrial galaxy theme all around it. Let's see if I can give you guys a shot of the insole. Nike. Top Secret Area 72, you know all the shoes have that insole. And then on the back, got KD35 and his little uh, design for the extraterrestrial theme. Give you guys a better shot of that now. Getting into the other Nike Brown box. Top Secret Area 72, Blazer Mid Premium QS, Total Crimson and Black, it's retailed for 105 got the receipt from Nike San Francisco, you see Swoosh Sentinel paper, I gotta say, I was very pleased with these blazers. You guys can see that ridiculous design on the upper. I don't even know what it's meant to be. It's supposed to be like what an alien skin would look like. If someone knows, let me know. Got your earthquake swoosh. Very nice. Got your crimson coming through the cracks. Nike on the back heel, and this is all 3M. Your outsole, icy blue with your ray gun in orange. Thick black laces. Then you guys see you got that little mesh tongue going up. And then on the actual top of the tongue, you do have your ray gun character. Just a black inner lining. And then I do believe, yep, you got your Area 72 insole. You guys can kind of see that. So KD5s and Blazers, definitely pleased with these so far. Can't forget. Got your gray midsole with your dark gray speckling. And I have to assume this side panel is 3M as well. Just noticed the underside of the shoe is kind of like a diamond blue, almost like a Tiffany color. Really liking that. Continuing on with the Area 72 shoes, got two more brown Nike boxes. The other Area 72 tag. Air Force Max 2013 Premium Quick Strike, Wolf Gray, White, Anthracite, and Total Crimson. Retail 150. 
You see the Swoosh Sentinel paper. And here we go with the Air Force Max. The ray gun tag on the tongue. You see the extraterrestrial inner lining. The Area 72 insole. Alright, let's get into the upper. All wolf gray with white dots. That's your white Nike swoosh. Your midsole is anthracite with a heavier speckling. That's your total crimson airbag. Your outsole, oh, there we go, dropped it. Your outsole is all glow in the dark. It says Nike in total crimson. One of my favorite parts about this shoe is the little hits of chrome on the upper. And then on the back heel, it says Nike. So very pleased with these Air Force Maxes. But um, let's go ahead and get into the shoe. A lot of people were trying to get. I was a little hesitant on, but once I saw them in hand, glad I copped. Area 72 tag. These are the one Area 72 shoe that released this morning. Barkley Posit Max Premium QS, black and siren red. See the 250 retail. Just like the others, Swoosh Sentinel paper. All of the All Star shoes featured it. So here we go with the Barkley Posit. Pretty ridiculous colorway. Loving it. Started off. Got your uh, kind of like metallic red swoosh. Little hit of crimson on the midsole. Your outsole, all glow in the dark with your purple Nike swoosh. Got model in total crimson. If you put both shoes on top of each other, it reads not a role model. Your upper. Kind of like this uh, meteor shower design all over. All the dark anthracite you see on the upper is 3M. And I'll give you guys a shot of the 3M popping now. Right into this world. Got your Charles Barkley CB patch on the back. See it says air on the tag. Got your extraterrestrial inner lining as well. You actually uh, got a uh, Nike Air insole with that extraterrestrial theme continued. Similar to the Air Force Maxes, you've got your ray gun on the tag. Black laces with red and gray dots. So this is supposed to be the heavy hitter for the uh, All-Star Pack this year. And I'm pleased with it. Hopefully the other people that copped are pleased as well. I went ahead and pulled the other shoe out, just so you guys can see, not a role model. And one difference is the right shoe features the Nike swoosh up on the toe, and the left shoe features the Nike swoosh up on the heel. That's why they are next to each other. But, one other thing I noticed. One thing that lets me believe this is Nike's big hitter is that they did include a little uh, CWB 1963 kind of like hang tag. Leeds, Alabama, USA. Highly classified technology. Area 72. So this is kind of like the uh, remove before flight tag that came on the Galaxy Foams last year. If you guys look, you do have Charles Barkley's little logo on the center. So the right shoe has the CB34 logo and the left says Nike Air. Getting down to the last few pairs, we got a Nike SB pink box right here. Been looking for this for a while. Nike Dunk Low Pro SB, natural burlap and orange blaze. Suggested retail 65. Got the Nike SB 
Reese Forbes Hunter. Very nice release in my opinion. Wanted this colorway for a while and finally was able to track down a dead stock pair. So got your extra burlap laces still attached. See the quilted inner lining. Whenever an SB has this type of inner lining, it's my personal favorite. I think it's the most comfortable. Got your Nike tag with your little hit of the real tree around it. You see that burlap type uh, fabric on the tongue as well as on the mid panel and toe box. Going around, got that real tree camo. Orange Blaze Nike swoosh. Then moving to the back. Got that little hit of real tree on the back tab, Nike in orange. Your midsole, kind of like a dirty orange with some uh, gray speckling in it. Solid brown outsole. Very clean. So very grateful to have gotten the Reese Forbes Hunters. Great release in my opinion. Last two pairs today, both were released last week at all undefeated locations as well as undefeated's website. One is from the San Francisco location and one is from online. Let's go ahead and get into it. On the right, Nike Dunk Premium High Undefeated SP. Not sure if the SP stands for Supreme, but you see this is from Undefeated SF, Nike Undefeated Dunk High Premium White Gum 138. Colors on the box, white, white. Got the Undefeated SF receipt. <clears throat> So here we go with the Undefeated Dunks. A very clean, subtle colorway, but a dope collab nonetheless. Got the Undefeated logo on the back heel, as well as your tongue. Your extra laces are that same brown to match the logos. And this is the brown that matches the Undefeated t-shirt I got in the beginning of the video. I did notice they're using the little cardboard choker that Jordan's using. What really sold me on these was the solid gum outsole. I love gum outsoles. White midsole, all white leather on your upper. Even your inner lining is leather, but it is perforated. You can also quickly see the back of the tongue is perforated leather as well. I'm not sure. Oh, there's your Nike tag on the reverse side. So very pleased with the dunks. And I was actually very surprised with the hyper dunks. I saw them in hand and decided to cop. Luckily I was able to get them online. Nike Hyperdunk Undefeated SP, white, white. So these are the Undefeated Hyperdunks. This is my first Hyperdunk 2012. Got your Undefeated logo on the back heel in black as opposed to brown. Got your Nike swoosh wrapping around to the back. the swoosh and hyper dunk on the tongue. So your all white upper with your little black lines on your laces. Your inner lining, hopefully you guys can see that, is a very nice quality soft leather. Very pleased they went with the all leather. Got your white insole with Nike in black. And again, my favorite part, solid gum outsole, and to see it on a Hyperdunk was a dope design. Definitely wanted to scoop it. The carbon fiber, very nice. So the undefeated 
Bring back pack. What's up guys? Just giving you a quick overview of my new car. The 2013 Honda Accord sedan. I went ahead and put 19 inch HFP diamond cut alloy wheels on it. So 2 inch upgrade from the stock 17 inch Honda rims. I am getting the car tinted on Tuesday. So that'll be a small addition. I had Honda put on the little rear deck spoiler, add a little uh, style to the back end. My buddies and I went ahead and debadged the car. Underneath the taillights, it did say Honda, or excuse me, Accord on the left, V6 Touring on the right, but I went ahead and took those off. So, super stoked on the new car, paid for it in full.